Hello, Arnold. Enjoy your meal, Arnie. Seems like a bad idea, though. Please, don't choke on it. Arnold, it's inconvenient for you to die. I have so many more experiment ideas. But maybe we could transfer your consciousness to a flash drive. I wonder how many gigabytes we'll need. It's hard to believe, but Arnold's brain has a huge memory density. Its capacity is 2.5 million abstract gigabytes. For this, we'll need 2,500 hard drives with a volume of 1 one terabyte each. Subscribe and hit like to learn more interesting facts. Poor guy. Don't worry, Arnie. Soon you're gonna be a cyborg. Half robot, half human. Then you won't be afraid of anything. Everyone else will be afraid of you. Hasta la vista, baby. A large part of the brain is occupied by various life processes. Even to fart, millions of neurons are needed. The volume of semantic memory, that is, information in symbols, knowledge about the world, is significantly less than the total volume. For instance, to learn all of English requires only 12 megabytes. Don't worry, Arnold. We managed to transfer all the data from your brain. Though it really didn't turn out to be that much. Everything fit onto one flash drive. I even installed a couple of new features. Now, you, Arnold, can solve math problems without a calculator. The precise working memory of the brain can hold between 5 to 9 digits at a time. That's only about 40 bits, or 5 bytes. You can increase working memory by combining different elements. For example, 3, 5, 2, that's 3 elements. But 352, that's 1 element. Arnold, you can start living your usual life again. And now you don't have to worry about stomach pain from eating too much pizza. However, there are a few minor issues now, buddy. Toby doesn't recognize you. Lying on the bed is problematic, and you can't eat regular food. Regular food could cause a short circuit in your new cyber body. Well, you've repeated your mistake again. I guess it's good that we took care to make a few more prototypes.